When we look at a mountain range, we just see the height of the mountain range as being the height of the tallest mountain in the range. So maybe we have a mountain range that doesn't have a super tall mountain, so it's not a very tall mountain range. Maybe we have a mountain range with a really tall mountain, so that would be a tall mountain range. Or maybe it's just somewhere in between. Okay, but You'll notice that the height of the mountain range doesn't depend on how many mountains are in the range. Okay, So you might have a mountain range with a lot of mountains, but maybe none of them are very tall. Or you might have a mountain range with just a couple mountains, but if one of them is really tall, then it's a really tall mountain range. So mountains in a mountain range are kind of like terms in a polynomial. So the degree for the polynomial is just going to be the degree of the highest degree term in the polynomial, just like the height of the mountain range is the height of the tallest mountain in the range. Okay. So if we look at this little mountain range, maybe we have three mountains here, and we'll go ahead and separate them. So we have Mount Nome and Mount Eel and Mount Polly. Okay. So when we look at mountain ranges, usually the mountains aren't in any particular order. But when we have a polynomial, we like to put our terms in order, from the highest degree term to the lowest degree term. So that would be like putting our mountain range in order, from the tallest mountain to the shortest mountain. So if we were to order these mountains, first we'd have Mount Polly, because that's our highest mountain. And then last would be Mount Eel, because that's the shortest. In between, we'd have Mount No. So if we ordered our mountains like we order the terms in a polynomial, then we'd have polynomial mountain range.